Hello everybody. I wanted to create a short video to introduce and orient you to the new digital infrastructure that we've been developing for the OpenEvo project. So let's dive in. This is, this is what we're calling the, the soft launch phase of, of this project, which means we are making some of the, the websites live and beginning to invite our, our direct closest partners to, to work with us to, to co-design content and, and processes to, to make our community better. So let's look at what the website has. On the landing page at openevo.eva.mpg.de, which is the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology servers, uh, we can find the landing page for OpenEvo, a little bit of uh, an introduction to who we are, and then you'll see that the site is organized around three core areas. There's the Learning Hub, which is our Moodle server, our online learning hub, labs which is our educational design and community science lab models that kind of drive our teacher education and then bases which is the next to be developed part of this site these are the these are the relational databases that will help us actually develop teacher education content and and research and development over time so as i said the databases will actually not be here until about August or uh, or so around the end of August, we anticipate that we can make these databases live. So we're migrating data and getting uh, getting the user interface working. Uh, but this will be a set of relational databases that include uh, teaching materials, student conceptions, syllabus, uh, different ways to to develop and advanced educational design research in teaching evolution as an interdisciplinary science. Our labs are the two models that we use to drive innovation in teacher education. These are the landing pages, which are kind of more the more attractive short summary of what each lab model is about. Uh, and then you'll find more information within the actual modules in the learning hub. And the Learning Hub is really the centerpiece of what we're doing here. So uh, the Learning Hub is actually its own server. It's a, it's a Moodle uh, instance, which you might know from your local university. And if we go here, you'll see that uh, the homepage links you back to the Research Hub uh, or the opportunity to, to see a course directory you can also browse some of the courses here that we are currently featuring. So uh, this is a this is really a process of co-design. So we are bringing different scientists, teachers, students together around different interest groups and developing curriculum in in a variety of areas. Some of these areas are more developed, such as the human behavior and sustainable development course or evolutionary anthropology that are being run in, in, uh, in university of Leipzig and elsewhere, uh, or our evolution and sustainability on the computer modules, which have a, a well-developed set of, of teaching materials to be explored. Whereas others, for example, the evolution of teaching and learning about music is, is a relatively new project more in development. Some of these other modules will help teachers better engage in, in the digital infrastructure and, and help university lecturers also potentially use OpenEvo for teaching locally. And so that's really the hope with this platform is that we can, we can offer universities or schools the opportunity to actually log into OpenEvo and run their own modules. Uh, but we can also use the, this Moodle as a sort of innovation lab or co-design space for developing new teaching materials, which could be run independently of this Moodle system, or they could be exported and run on any Moodle system within any university or school around the world. When you receive your account, you'll be able to see courses like this and you can, uh, only view some. So for example, 
uh, for the evolution on the computer, we're allowing people to see the overall syllabus, but not yet access the activities. And we'll be opening these things up uh, more and more as we get everything migrated and, and settled in. So when you first get your account as an OpenEvo Circle member, you'll be enrolled in two modules. Let me show you where they are in the ecosystem. Here we're in the course directory where you can see all of the courses structured within the OpenEvo ecosystem. You'll be enrolled in two modules within the OpenEvo platform. That's the teaching on OpenEvo and the OpenEvo commons, which describes uh, the activities of different circles and uh, different activities that network members are involved in, in within, this, within this ecosystem. In the future, you can we will open up the opportunity to, to uh, connect into other modules, uh, but also help create or, or create your own within this system. Um, so we have our Open Evo platform modules, which is the basic operations of, of, the, of the platform. Then we have our subject area core modules, which are most in development. These will be core modules for each of, of uh, the normal school subject area disciplines, looking at how these disciplines may, uh, may variously relate to concepts in evolution science. Then we've got the featured modules. And so these are these uh, big project areas that we are working with various partners to, to bring together resources, content, and, and uh, potentially full module syllabi for teacher education in each of these areas. And again, some are, are, are developed to the, to the point of uh, uh, being shareable or being able to develop collaborations on, and others are more construction sites for developing innovative new lessons. Then finally, there's field site modules, which are geographically structured. And so we can, if you want to begin teaching or developing uh, field site projects within this ecosystem, just talk to us and we can begin to create your country or region. And this is where, where local courses can be, can be run. And then hidden from view is the co-design sandbox, which is where new courses begin. Lastly, I'd like to bring your attention to the profile, the user profile that you now have on OpenEvo, on the Learning Hub. So if you click up here, you'll see your name, and you can see that you have a dashboard, you can view pro profile, but you can also edit your profile. And so I encourage you to please feel free to make yourself at home, have a description, add your picture so you can be recognized. And then especially, I just want to highlight down here with open Evo circle membership. So previously we've managed membership by, uh, through forms that you, you couldn't really update, but now you can just, uh, control your own membership within, uh, within these. And so, uh, we hope that that will streamline communication and allow you to get the kind of communications that, that you're most interested in from this network. So that's all for now. We just wanted to give you a brief introduction to the to the new platform. We hope you'll you'll get in and set up your profile and and start exploring the basic idea. If you have ideas or interests for developing particular courses or modules or concepts or research within this, please feel free to get in touch. And until then, we look forward to developing this platform with you.